Good morning, good morning, wherever you are. Praise God, wherever you are. It's a beautiful day this month of April, my dear friends. We are talking about the heart of God. The heart of God, you know. And you know, much it was guided by God, now we're in the heart of God. And today we're just trying to tap into the secrets that are found in His heart. So today, my dear friends, um, in power to become, we are going to look at something very simple, which is that seen through me. Seen through me. I was going to call it a conduit. But I thought that's too wordy. So he's saying, seen through me. And I like it so much because when I tap into the heart of God, God is always seen through you. And how is God seen through you? By the manifestation of his promises in your life. The evidence that God is with you is always the manifestation of the promises he has in your life. There are a few promises, of course. There is, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. You are a joyful person. You can't be in the presence of God and say you're full of God and your heart is for God and you're grumpy and sad all the time. No. If you're in the presence of God and you love the Lord and your heart is where he is, automatically there is joy. There is strength where the Lord is. There is provision. All these things are benefits that come from him. And when people encounter you, they don't have to be told that you belong to Jesus. They just look at the joy you possess. They encounter your countenance and they know you are a child of God because God is seen through you. Today I want us to pray that God positions you and I to be at the front row that people can know through us that God is real. I read Jeremiah 31, 34 from the New Living Translation. It says this, And they will not need to teach their neighbors, nor will they need to teach their relatives, saying, You should know the Lord. For everyone from the least to the greatest will know him already, says the Lord. Very powerful and profound scripture. That they will not need to teach their neighbors, nor they need to teach their relatives, saying, you should know the Lord. For everyone from their least to the greatest will know God already. I'm saying this because um, I was talking to a group of moms a while back, and I was telling them that if you are a person who's praying, and you're saying that in the house you're a prayerful person, and the people in the same house can never tell you pray for me, it means the tangibility of God in your life has not been seen. They have not seen God through you. We have to be conduits and vessels that God can be seen through us. If we cannot be living a life that shows that God is not there, as I said, the first thing that is very clear and very distinct, I say this, a person who's plugged into Jesus has joy. These grumpy, angry Christians, I don't know where they came from. Because, they don't, because Jesus, the Bible says, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. If I am with him, then he's seen through me. The joy I have is divine. I might be going through pain. I might be going through suffering. But the joy is tangible and credible. The tangible blessings we need of provision, of healing, of strength, whatever we need from the Lord. Today we're telling God, the Lord, I'm available to, for you to be seen through me. My brothers and sisters, today we are praying that whatever situation you are in, wherever you are today, may God be seen through you. That people don't have to ask you, who is your God? They will look at you and know, we know that Jehovah is your God. That's my prayer for you today. So I'll pray that God puts in the front line that you may manifest his goodness in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, for your sons and daughters, my brothers and sisters watching this video today, Lord. Lord, you are so good and your mercy endures forever. Father, I pray that, Lord, you may be able to show your glory through their lives. I pray that, Lord, your sons and daughters, Lord, go to the front row of life, Lord. But Father, they may be at the front row for you to expose yourself to them, for you to be seen through them, Lord, in what they do, in how they do, in where they live, in how they live. Wherever they are, Lord, may you be seen through them. I pray that, Lord, today may every one of them move to the front row and may they declare to the Lord their lives are available for you to be seen through them for the glory of your name, O oh Lord. I thank you, Father, and I bless you for your goodness and your mercy. Just in print thanksgiving. Amen. Do stay blessed, my brothers and sisters. Let him be seen through you. So tell God today, I'm the front row father. Express yourself through me. I'm ready. Stay blessed. See you again next time, same time.